I wanted to tell you about uh, the maths of my new tattoo. So um, I got recently a tattoo. This is a hyperbolic helicoid. And so I was going to explain the math of helicoids and a little bit of hyperbolic space. So I actually went into the tattoo parlor with the line work and the shading and I had an artist who was kind enough to actually transfer that onto my body. I, I wanted to make sure it was mathematically correct. So one of the things about it is that helicoids are something that showed up in my PhD an awful lot and I'm an aficionado of hyperbolic space, uh, anything negatively curved, so I combined them and made a tattoo. This is my first tattoo, but may get more math tattoos in the future. So helicoids um, are a type of surface that's called a rolled surface, a type of surface that is made entirely out of straight lines. So I've got straight lines that are displayed here, and I can change the number of lines on the surface, and I've got other parameters that I will be changing throughout. So one thing you'll see is there's this opacity here. So this is showing the full surface. So I can turn, turn that on so you can see a bit of surface and see how it's being filled up with lines. This here is going to be the simplest rolled surface you can possibly have is the plane. Uh, it's just created with a whole bunch of straight lines. So I can just continuously fill it with straight lines. This is the hyperbolic paraboloid. It's also called a high power surface. I'm gonna basically sort of twist up the ends of these. And so this is my parameter here I call height. So as I stretch it, I end up with this surface here. So this is something you see in architecture a lot. This is in a lot of roofs. Actually, you see a lot of ruled surfaces in architecture because it's very easy to get straight objects. Um, and then it's just about the way you assemble them that gives you curvature. They're all still straight. Everything you do about them is straight. Um, so the next one I'm gonna show you is a hyperboloid of uh, revolution. So what I'm gonna do, this has four lines now. I'm gonna continue to add lines in. This makes it a cylinder and I'm gonna turn on my surface. So there's a bit of surface back here. So what I'm gonna do is each of these lines, I'm gonna twist it right about uh, here. And that is going to start moving it around and it will become, this is a hyperboloid of one sheet. So you might recognize this shape as uh, the cooler for nuclear power plant. So that is the, the canonical shape for that. That is this shape here. Turns out that uh, the two surfaces I showed you are special surfaces because they're not ruled just once, but they're doubly ruled. So I can take two sets of straight lines to construct the same surface. It's interesting because they're made with straight lines, it's almost like there's no real curve there. You're just creating the illusion of a curve. Yeah, it is a bit like that. But if I were to make them infinitesimally small and start filling them in one by one by one, I would sweep out every single point on the curve, on the surface. And that's what makes it a surface and not just a set of curves. So these ones are doubly rolled so I can turn on the other rolling. So here I have a set of uh, sort of crisscross lines and those will rotate together to form this curvature. So now to my favorite surface is, is the helicoid. So helicoid is something that you imagine starting with a plane and then you start filling it in with lines like this. But this one I'm going to, instead of like we did with the um, high par surface, twist it. This one twists at a constant rate. That one twisted not at a constant rate. And here we're gonna end up with a surface that looks quite a bit like a wind chime. So a helicoid is a surface that's constructed of straight lines that rotate about a central line at a constant rate. So let's get to the tattoo. So the tattoo is a hyperbolic helicoid and it's done in a particular model called the Poincaré disk model. And the first thing we really need to understand is what do straight lines look like in this space? So I have all of space is in a disk and this is the boundary is infinity. And if I have a point at the very center, a straight line is a straight line that passes through the center. So this is a straight line. If I had say another point 
over here, a straight line that would pass through that point is going to be something like this. So this is an arc of a circle and it intersects the boundary in right angles. So this is what straight lines are in this particular model. We know what straight lines are and I'm going to make a helicoid out of them. So this is what it looks like. This is the, the line I'm gonna rotate about and this is the straight line I'm gonna rotate. So this one, this one is the 3D one. So I need to have, this is the plane, but for me to twist it, I need to have a third dimension to twist into. So now it's the same rules. The lines are defined by the same rules except we're using a sphere instead of a circle. Yes. It should be turning on. Now I've got lines and they're gonna to touch the boundary of a sphere and they have to intersect that in 90 degree angles. So I'm gonna start filling in lines up and down to make my plane. You can imagine this is a whole plane. So what does that plane look like? Is that plane quite flat? I can't quite tell. It, it is flat. This plane right now is just a cross section right through the middle of the sphere. So it's completely flat, both in our version of space and in hyperbolic space. So this is just the half of the sphere right here. So now that I've got a plane that's pretty full and I'm gonna start twisting around that line. So once it twists quite a lot, you'll start seeing something that looks reminiscent of my tattoo. So once it gets to here, I think I'm gonna add some more lines to make it look a little fuller. This is the surface that my tattoo is based on. It is called the hyperbolic helicoid. So it is a helicoid, it is a rolled surface um, based on twist of a constant rate, and this one happens to be in hyperbolic space. And then the other thing about my tattoo is, so this is straight, but I can actually change what the center line does. So I, I kept calling it a curve before. I started with a straight line, but I don't need to keep it a straight line. I can let it twist around too. So that- And then the plane goes along for the ride, doesn't and it? And the plane goes along for the ride, yeah. So it's taking the curve and pulling the North Pole around down towards the equator. Zero is up top and pi over two is at the equator. So that's what I've done here. So my tattoo, I believe, is at pi over two, so it's a quarter of the way around the circle. I want to see your tattoo again now. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I'm looking at the South Pole, and the North, so the North Pole's not right above the South Pole, it's kind of bent, is it? Yeah, so I've again pulled this, the center line is one of these straight lines. Yeah. So it is also a curve that meets the, um, the sphere in right angles. So what I've done is I've pulled it down so that the North Pole of this and the South Pole of this are, um, I guess one is at the South Pole and the other is at the equator. Okay, but it's sort of towards me, it's, you know, it's not. Yeah, I rotated it uh, so that you got to see both poles. So helicoids, uh, they're not just a ruled surface, they're also a minimal surface, and those are surfaces like soap films um, and things like that, and that's what I've spent a lot of years of my life studying. Um, in particular, there's a theorem that says minimal surfaces locally are either bits of helicoids or pairs of pants. And pairs of pants is actually a, a technical term. And so I've spent a lot of time looking at how to decompose surfaces into helicoids. There's a conference we always go to, which is called Bridges. We went there and they do math art. So they'd set up a gallery and they said, well, I mean, you can go do whatever, whatever you want. Just leave your shoulder here and we'll, we'll show it with the rest of the art pieces. Now a tattoo is getting very interactive with your mathematics and you might not want to go that far, but if you do want to interact with mathematics, why not check out Brilliant, the sponsor of today's video. By the way, Brilliant, loving the new look of the website. Very nice. Now here's the daily challenges. These are always really good fun. Where are the holes? I'm looking at that. If you mount and fold a square piece of paper in half twice, then part that, which one are you going to get? A, B, C, or D? I'm going A. Ah, oh, incorrect. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Getting things wrong is what it's all about sometimes on Brilliant. They're not there to judge. They're just there to have fun, enrich your life. Do check out their courses. They've got loads of courses. They're adding new ones all the time. Fantastic. 
Love the new look! 3D geometry too. This is going to keep you entertained for days, weeks, months. Check it out people. Brilliant.org slash number file. And that's going to give you 20% off a premium membership. And that's access to everything on the site. It's a treasure trove people. Brilliant.org slash number file. They're going really big on the interaction now. Which of the following shapes could not be a cross section of the cylinder? Oh, it's got to be D, surely. Is it? Oh, again! Oh, yeah, I see. I could have, like, put it up there. 